Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel, my tooth study. This is Dr. M. I'm a trained whole and maxillofacial surgeon and I'm here to help you out clear the difficult concepts of dentistry so that you can apply them in your clinical practice as well as they will help you out to solve the difficult questions for your dental board exams. You all know we have already started with the topic of pediatric dentistry and today we'll be discussing about the restorative dentistry. But before diving into today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so that you get an update whenever I upload a video. So let's dive in. The anatomical differences in the primary teeth as compared with the permanent teeth. They are main. Some of these are, I have summed up here. These are the primary teeth have thinner enamel. The pulp chamber is relatively larger in primary teeth. The pulp pawns are closer to the surface of the tooth. The enamel rods in the gingival third slope occlusion instead of cervical in the permanent teeth. The crown is relatively shorter and has a greater constriction in the cervical region. The interproximal contacts are broader and flatter than the permanent teeth. The enamel and the dentine shades are generally whiter than the permanent teeth. The occlusion table is generally narrower on the primary molars. Now, there are certain basic principles in restoring a primary molar with amalgam. Now, what are these criteria? First is the preparation depth is 0.5 mm into the dentine, as you can see here. On the primary molar, the depth of the preparation is approximately 1.5 mm. Number 330 and number 245 birds are common for preparation of primary teeth. The number 330 is 1.5 mm in length and number 245 is 3 mm. These birds aid the practitioner in establishing the proper depth of the preparation. The rounded line angles decrease the internal stresses in the restorative material and help prevent the breakage. The occlusion preparation extends into septable pits and fissures. The buccal and lingual extensions of the class two preparation minimally break the contact. The buccal and the gingival walls generally converge occlusionally. The gingival seat contact is broken and the isthmus width is one third that of the intercuspal dimension. These are some points which you need to remember. Now the restoration of the primary molar teeth with the composite. Now the preparation may be more conservative as compared to an amalgam. In class one, it may be limited to curious lesion if student is used as a part of restoration. Now there are some practitioners which advocate more conservative class two in which the access to the interproximal lesion is gained through the marginal ridge or from the fascia if the pits and fissures are not susceptible. The preparation of class 2 is similar to amalgam if the caries exist occlusionally as well as interproximal. Also, the composite is a very technique sensitive and a very successful only if a dry clean is maintained. The posterior stainless steel crown preparation and the adaptation. There are certain indications and contraindications. What are these? Its indications include teeth with extensive carious involvement, teeth with the pectin or pulpotomy, malformed teeth, teeth with rampant caries, mesial lesion on the primary molars, ankylosed primary molars, young permanent molars as a semi permanent restoration, fractured teeth, and teeth needed for abutment for appliances. So the contraindications are if good aesthetics are of primary importance, teeth nearly exfoliating, the excessive crown loss results in lack of mechanical retention, space loss if a neighboring tooth has tipped in the carious defect, the caries extending cervically so that the coverage of the defect becomes an issue, as permanent restoration in the permanent dentition. Now, restoration of the anterior teeth. Before the incisors, small class 3 lesions may be restored with composites similarly to that of the permanent incisors. The 
compromise or the in involved in sizing edges. Now, there are some practitioners which recommend a preparation that includes proximal reduction and labial one, or a lingual ductile in the cervical thread. With significant incisal edge loss, a composite resin crown is a good choice, and if there is adequate tooth remaining for bonding, and if the aesthetics is of primary importance. Now, the preparation includes the caries removal, measle and discrete IPR, place, placing an undercut area approximately 1 mm in size, and the following the free gingival knot. Now, an alternative preparation is to create a 1 mm of the cervical shoulder on the entire tooth. A cellulite crown form is trimmed and adapted to cover the cervical margin. At least one vent hole is created on the incisal edge to allow the escape of this excessive composite. The crown form is filled with composite and it is seated. Now the primary incisors with an excessive loss of tooth structure may require stainless steel crowns and the improved aesthetics may be obtained in several ways. The open face stainless steel crown can be created the face shield of the stainless steel crown is removed and is replaced by a composite. The facing veneered to a stainless steel crown are available commercially as well as in labs. Prefabricated zirconia, anteriors, and posterior crowns are also available. But these crowns must fit passively because they do not flex. The primary canines, the distal surface of the primary canine, is a common site for caries and caries prone patients. It is often necessary to place the lingual and sometimes labial dovetail to aid in retention and placement of the restorative material. Now that's all for today's video. In the next video, we will discuss about the pulpal treatment of these primary teeth and the orthodontics involved. Also, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so, get, so that you can get an update whenever I upload a video. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram channel, that is Official to Study, to get an insight to the latest questions which are we are in Dental Thank you for today.